David does the deterministic laws of physics, or on the other hand, the probabilistic laws of quantum mechanics. Do either one or both say anything to us about human free will? Um, quantum mechanics plays very little role here. Uh, we can really exclude that because uh, we, we think that the whatever, um, any way we describe a human mind and a human being, uh, we will not need to use quantum mechanics. A lot of philosophers do, I should yes, tell you. Uh, well, but yes, but they don't, uh, a lot of philosophers and even some mathematicians, <laughs> and, uh, but they don't understand uh, simple order of magnitude estimates or physics. Um, I don't think quantum mechanics plays any role at all. And, and uh, in either case, either quantum mechanically or, or uh, classically, um, the world is determ determ determined enough to threaten our naive notion of free will. Um, but the problem, again, free will is a kind of notion that is, again, uh, like some others, um, fuzzy. It uh, presupposes lots of uh, assumptions about, about, um, about human beings that I think are based on, very, are on a very, very primitive understanding of uh, the human mind, uh, such as, what is I? Human, the free will assumes that there is a unique agent, the I of the free will, the agent that is making decisions uh, in a way that is independent of um, what. I mean, it's but a very ill-defined notion. If you discount that, if you discount that I, then you are rolling back to a situation where our, both our consciousness and our free will is an illusion? Uh, consciousness, I think, more and more is being regarded as an illusion in the, in the sense that we have of it, of consciousness. Consciousness is a, definitely a phenomena that exists, but, but our, our feeling of consciousness, or at least mine, is that somehow I am in control. Uh, although, you know, I sometimes wonder about that, are we? sometimes have a thought to say something. In fact, in our conversation together, I've said a few things that I hadn't heard or, or consciously thought of before. They came out and I'm a bit surprised, I, the so-called I, am a bit surprised as to where they came from. I don't think there is a central I somewhere in my head here who is in control of anything. And I'm often surprised the I the conscious eye, the focusing of attention of the brain uh, on what emerges from wherever, from other centers that are functioning in parallel. It's much more complicated. So if you have no eye and quantum mechanics is too low of an order of magnitude of any impact with its probabilistics, which a lot of people use to, yeah. to try to uh, uh, generate free will, then you're left with the uh, macroscopic laws of physics. You're left with no I, so then just by a simple causality is the feeling of the I having free will uh, a, a, a a, very an anachronistic myth. It's, it's an important illusion, uh, as is the motion through time. There are many illusions that we have evolved to accept with passion or with very strong feelings uh, because they're very useful in organizing our perception uh, of, the re of the world around us and surviving. So they work, but they may not have any uh, fundamental reality. Yes.